Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Sunday, April the 3rd, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on patreon.com, and checking out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, and utilizing some of my services as you need. So today, message is something I've said before in different ways. Um, and I've, I've rewritten it a few times, but this is what it is. Knowing who you really are will expedite your soul's growth by avoiding distractions, detours, and breakdowns causing lengthy delays. Just ask to be shown your true self. So this is once again like wearing masks, lying to yourself, the deceit of, of who you really are, what you really are. And, and the bottom line is, you know, I, I don't necessarily know how to tell you who you are, but all I do know this. Ask to be shown. Ask your angels, your guides, source, higher self, say, you know, show me who I truly am. Gently, peacefully, carefully help me to, you know, unveil, unmask, pull back the layers, you know, and find out who I truly am. It's a remarkable journey. I know I've been doing and you're you're doing it already but again this is coming back to really acknowledging okay i am asking i am wanting because we are slowly but surely finding out who we truly are day by day by day we may not be aware of it we may not recognize it but also you're going to recognize it and be aware of it even more when you start asking for it and it, from paul selig's book you know i know who i am i know what i am i know how i serve i am here i am here i am here those words are so powerful i know who i am I know what I am. I know how I serve. That is just drawing into you your true self, your true nature. So there's your message. Let's look at some cards and some Lenormand cards and tarot cards and some numbers for today. As somewhat of a predictive or forecast, I like to call it. You know, here's what the weather looks like. You know, it never really is, is fully because it's a broad thing. If you look at the weather in your area and it says rain, you may be the one place that doesn't get any, or you may be the only place that gets it. So today, all the numbers add up to seven, and that energy of that day, of today, all, be it all the numbers, the third day of the fourth month of nine year, you know, it gives you a little bit of energy of, you know, metaphysical, mystical research, you know, uh, this um, kind of solitude, spiritual focus, um, technology, science, Kind of a feeling today. Don't forget the whole year is a nine year. Transformations, endings, bringing things to a close. You know the whole month for this month four is practical, solid foundation. So all of these things become ingredients and a forecast for your day. So the Lenormand to go along with that energy is the whip. We had that yesterday for Saturday. So the whip so it's still going on. This is over and over and over. Could be abusive, could be, you know, sexual, but it is repeating actions, repetition, maybe chronic pain, could be a physical activity. Terror to go along with it is the devil card. So this would definitely be something habitual. This would definitely be a fear repeated over and over and over to keep you from moving forward because the devil would have the whip. You know, because the, the devil is often about being stuck and trapped in place, repetitive, over and over and over. Like a like you're on a river and you're stuck in that whirlpool where you can't get out. You know, the addiction, the chain, um, just, you know, the berating of yourself over and over and over and you just can't move forward. So this, again, seven energy day, you know, this is where you want to analyze it, figure it out. And that could be what it is all about. You're just analyzing it over and over and over and not doing anything about it. You know, let me just berate myself for, for whatever reason and not move forward. Tomorrow, very interesting day with the numbers because it's a four month, it's a four day, and they all add up to eight. So eight is very authoritative, uh, self-mastery, self-love, finance, um, success, business, and the fours are very practical, and double fours is eight. So that's why I said it's kind of an interesting day. The, um, what is this called? Lenormand. Lenormand to go along with it is going to be the mice card. So we go from the whip to the mice. Mice is often about being undermined, nibbling behind the scenes. Deterioration is one of my favorite words. This is more fear, loss, hidden problems, stress, worries. And then terror to go along with the mice is going to be victory, success. This is really good. Six of wands. So this is where you come in victorious, successful um, from all the hard work, um, from the deterioration, from the undermining, from the fear. Honestly, with the whip, the devil, the mice, and the, and the six of wands, this tells me you're doing the work. 
you're getting behind the scenes, you're releasing yourself from the fear, you're coming out successfully. Today and tomorrow is like a day together. Um, I love how the cards kind of come together. And it's funny because all the cards have this brown, red, yellow, um, orange, which is all lower base, so sacral, solar plexus energy. Not a whole lot of metaphysical, spiritual stuff going on with this one. It's very human um, going on today and tomorrow. So, and I think Spirit just said we're going to find more of that in this month because of the number four energy, the practical, the, you know, what's going on right now in our lives. So there is your message for today and tomorrow. Thank you so much. Check out my website if you feel led, intuitivemitchell.com, and um, I will talk to you soon. Namaste. Bye-bye.